Hi, my name is John Whitehead. I'm an executive and leadership coach, and welcome to this week's video blog post. This week, I want to talk about an experience that I had a couple of weeks ago with a group that I was doing some workshops with. The workshops were on time management and goal setting, but I like to throw in other little exercises as well. And one exercise I like to throw in is something called Feed Forward, which is something that Marshall Goldsmith introduced me to. Now, this is a really fascinating idea. And the idea is that instead of asking for feedback on something that's happened, you look for feed forward on something going forward. So this particular exercise is you get a group of people in a room. And in this case, I had 12 managers for a nonprofit organization. And I had them stand up and I had them turn to one another, one at a time, and say, the challenge that I'm facing right now is. And the second person would say, gave them one or two ideas. Well, have you thought of this? Or, uh, you know, here's an experience that I had, and this is what I did. And the first person says, thank you. And then turns around and asks the second person, here's the challenge that I'm facing right now. And that person then gives an example. So over a period of 10, 15 minutes, you can have seven or eight different ideas thrown at you ideas that you may not have thought of before or maybe there are things that you have thought about before but will, will then validate what you've been thinking or maybe they say something which triggers a different idea in your own mind all those things are valid and can happen and here's one of the interesting things that happened with this group is this group of managers have their own circles they work in they have their own teams they work in they're uh, separate. They may not be all on site. They work in different places. And some of them have unique roles in the organization. And one, what they discovered was by asking somebody outside their normal connections, they were getting different ideas. One comment was, this is really a neat idea because I don't usually get to talk to Frank. And Frank had a really different, unique perspective on this. So. People who get it, if you're in those silos, and if you're in those silos and organizations, what you need to do is take a look and look around you and say, where else can I go get ideas or suggestions? If, you, if you're a leader in an organization and you run a team, is there an opportunity to get together with another team? If you're um, a senior leader in an organization, you run retreats, do you bring people from different areas into the organization and then have a just very quick 10, 15 minute exercise like that, just generate ideas. Today, I did the same exercise with my faculty of management students at University of British Columbia. Uh, there was about 55 students in the room and I explained the process and I had them go at it for 15 minutes. The noise in the room was incredible. There was laughing, uh, there was a lot of talking. Uh, there was a couple of times I had to break in and say, hey, if you're saying your challenge is more, you're saying it more than 60 seconds, you're saying too much. And the other thing I was saying is speak to somebody I haven't spoken to for quite a while. So there was a lot of movement in the class. Afterwards, I asked the students, so give me a word or two that describes what you just experienced. And when somebody said, one person said, humble. Another person said, well, it was really personal. Another person said, insight. And another person said they found it really kind of cool that they got six or seven ideas. Not all that are practical and would work, but there were a couple of really good ideas. And the, the interest, the excitement in the room was, was quite high. When I did this last year with my leadership class last year, a number of, a number, a number of them said, can we do this again? So I, did re I repeated it in a few weeks. And with this class, I'll repeat it again in a few weeks from now, and we'll see what comes from that. But this ties in with the uh, textbook that I use in the course that I teach the Leadership Challenge by Kuzas and Posner. And in, in terms of the third practice, which is challenging the process, where they talk about searching for opportunities uh, and exercising what they call outsight and taking risks and taking uh, experimenting. And Using outside is where you look beyond your circle. You look outside the organization for ideas and thoughts. You speak to uh, maybe a colleague in a different division than yours. So the idea is you can bring in all these new fresh ideas. So think about that in your situation, in your organization that you work in, if you're a leader or a manager or just an employee, where can you get fresh ideas from? Is there somebody who works 
maybe if you're in retail, is there somebody in the two stores down that you can have coffee with and just say, here, here's a challenge I'm facing right now. Got any suggestions and see what happens. Yes, there's some risk, but we need to take risks sometimes. Exemplary leaders take risks. Uh, yes, it takes us out of our comfort zone, but you know what? Sometimes we have to get outside of our comfort zone to grow. So anyway, that's John White. I'm John Whitehead. That's my video blog post for this week. And again, please feel free to add comments and suggestions on the bottom, and I will definitely get back to you. Thanks again, and have a great week.